Oh, hey, glad y'all could make it. Um, sometimes you just got to roll with it. So let me just finish this up here. Get that erased. Good enough. Flake that into the trash. Okay, so I am in Wonderland by Shen. Love the book. Awesome. You know how sometimes you get those pictures and you're like, what is that? You know, I just, I don't know what it is. So, whoops, wrong way. So, I took and put a picture of this over on Coloring Group. And I said, okay, y'all, what is that? I got several good answers. And here we go. Do y'all know that kind of fruit? I don't know that fruit, but I was like, ooh, looks like it. So I posted pictures here so I would remember. There's that seed in the middle, but that seed's a little bit different. So I get all this colored, just almost finished. And somebody posts and goes, oh, do you know what the outside of a macaron looks like? And I'm like, oh, snap. I just did that so wrong. So that's why we have erasers. <laughs> so I have erased it. And this video mainly is just to show you, don't give up when you're coloring. Just don't give up on stuff. Because, I mean, this can still all be fixed. So I'm going to go to my coloring swatches here. Let's see. And where are my swatches? Hmm. I know I brought them back here. All right, so we're not going to worry about the swatches. We're just going to use the pencils. So I'm going to look in here, and I'm going to look for a lighter brown. Here's one, number 13. These are, oh, these are the Arteza pencils. So my swatches are right here. I don't know why I was thinking about Crayola. So for that outside that is a little bit lighter. What number is that? 113. And see here, you get to see how my head works. It's not always a pretty sight. And I'm actually liking that Camel 110 now that I've seen that. I like that for that outer part. Is that it? Nope, that's turmeric. So this should be it. Nope. Yellow ochre. Sunflower. And that's why you just keep going till you find the right thing. Camel. So that's what I'm going to do some of that outside as. And then that inside that's tucked back under there. I want something that's got some yellow in it. So see how this is more of a red undertone? undertone my words. So I'm going to go with this, the Sienna Brown, which is not that. And it is this. So number 48. And um, let's just get started on that. So this is actually going to be the order I use these. And let me also say that your pencils for something this skinny need to be really, really fine tipped. So I've got quite the point on that. 
and I know somebody's going to ask, oh my gosh, what sharpener did you use? Okay, how embarrassing is this? Sunkissed Fun Fruits Real Fruit Snacks Made in China This sharpener is probably something that my kids took to school back in the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Serious. So anyway, all right, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get started and I'm going to just do all these edges. And here's where I'm going to hope that I'm able to cover all the pinks and stuff with the brown. If I'm not, then I will punt and go to gel pens because I know that they'll cover it. So I'm gonna get started here and just do one half of this. Okay. And you know, I use a pencil till it's down to the nub almost before sharpening. I don't like to sharpen pencils because I feel like I'm wasting the lead when I'm shaving it down. But on something like this, you've just got to keep a sharp tip. So I'm coming through here and doing the tips. And yeah, some of them are still pink and red. We're just, like I said, we're going to punt. This is just a learning curve video. So now I'm going to take this one, that Sienna Brown, and I'm going to start going from the bottom up. And this is going to be just little tedious work. There's just no way around it. It's just going to be. And I'm going to probably sharpen a lot more often than I would have sharpened anything in the past. But I really want to be able to get down in these grooves. So we continue. Yeah, this is going to be somewhat boring, but I just want to show you that you can erase and then go ahead and go back over and still make it work. It, could it have looked better and saved time if I'd done it right the first time? Yeah, but that's on me. Um, when you ask questions to a group, sometimes it's best not to act on those answers until you've actually given it a few hours, possibly a day or two, to really see what all the answers are. So that's on nobody but me. And I was tempted to kind of leave it because it does kind of look like that other fruit thing. But I would always know that it was supposed to have been the outside of one of these other nuts. Okay, and see it is covering pretty good. Now, something else. I'm going to grab another brown that is a little bit darker. Because some of these elements are on the bottom. So I'm just going to reach over and grab, what is this? This looks good. Dark chocolate. And I'm just going to do some of these that are in the back. Just the ones that are layered. Do you see how it's giving the piece more depth? It's pushing some of those to the back. Let's see. I'm trying to find the ones that are way back there. Anything that's in the back. Okay. So that's getting there. I will take time 
and really work this piece over. Does that help any if I change the direction? But yeah, so it's going to take some time, but you can see it is covering up. Um, would you like to see how I did one of the nuts real quick? Yeah, we've got time for that. So they are um, chestnuts. And what I did was for this bottom area here, I came in with, grab the right pencils, I came in with Elephant Gray and Cocoa, number 35 and 36. I'm going to do the gray color first, and I come in, and I just kind of scribble in there. It is seriously what I did. Okay, then I come in with the browner color, and I'm going to do around the edges here at the bottom, and then come up this way some, and then I'm going to do a little wiggly thing, just like little eights and just like making numbers. I'm keeping it very loose and scribbly. Then I'm going to come back in with that first gray and just make sure it's all covered. What that does for me is it gives me this little molten look. Okay, so and then if I want some dark down here at the base, I can add that. Okay, darker at the bottoms and lighter as it comes up because the light's hitting from here. Okay, then what I'm doing on the rest of that nut is I have dark chocolate and black and then I believe I had the Sienna Brown, number 48, okay? And again, I, I stopped in between when doing these, so that's why it may or may not be all the same colors, okay? I'm going to take my lighter and just kind of come around here, do up underneath the lip, and then try to go the direction of the lines. And I'm not going to cover it all. All right. Then I'm going to go to my next color, which is 118, the dark chocolate. And see where I got here, a little darker, and around here. And then there are some lines in it. So I came through this bottom part. Made it a little darker through there. And then at the edges so that it looks more rounded. Same thing over here. And then I'll go under the lip, and then I'm going to try to fill some of this in. I'm not going across the whole thing. I want it to be somewhat streaked. Okay. Then I'm going to come in with the black. Okay, black is my third color. And I'm going to do like down here where it's tucked behind that other nut just a bit. Then I'm going to go in this corner, getting lighter as I come out. 
I am going to do this corner a little bit even though it's on top. And then I'm going to do down here because this is the bottom, the bottom part of the page. Then I'm going to come back with my lightest of those three and use that for a blender so that I'm adding more color to the page and not just scooting color around with a stick or stump or a blender. And then I've got that nice um, reddish brown going on. I'll come back and erase that later. And I really want to blend that in there. So now is when I'm really blending. And there's a nut. Okay. And I'll do the same thing here. This almost looks like one that's been sliced open. So I will actually look and see what color one of these little guys are after they've been sliced open and do that for the inside and do the outside of this just like the outside down here, okay? And then do the inside the right way. And then I'll look back at the picture. This through here is a little bit lighter, I think. But I'm just going to get back to work on that. See if I can't get that all fixed up right. And um, have that nut looking better. So, would y'all like to see a peach possibly done? Maybe I'll do a peach next. All right, that's it for now. I got to get back to this. Talk to you later. Bye.